That's a sick color. Okay. YSL, what's this one? I know. Now, I'm ready to go. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Viva V Crazy W. So, guys, today I've got an interesting video for you. Oh, by the way, yeah, the fella will be um, will be joining me shortly. He's there. I'm tired. I can't get up. I'll see you at eleven o'clock. Well, you know what? Things happen early. Things happen quick. I get up, get dressed, get this video done. So anyway, he's gonna join in a minute. Not in a minute. He does not very good at time. He's, he's not good at timekeeping at all. So I'll see him when I see him. But I do want to have his opinion on um, a couple of items that I purchased from Louis Vuitton. Um, I want to gauge his opinion because I feel like, you know, because, you know, he keeps buying me like... He, he, he doesn't agree with the concept of like purchasing like designer things, Louis Vuitton things. He thinks it's all a waste of money. And um, I think if I involve him more, I think maybe I can like turn his mind a little bit so that he can start to think, yeah, you know, and get it rather than me keep telling him, you know, because the last time I asked him to get me something from Louis Vuitton, um, he got me, I'll put the picture, I'll put the video up here or up here, um, not video, the video that I did last time where he got me um, a Louis Vuitton, but it was not from the Louis Vuitton store. So, um, so that, I did say, you remember I said in the video, I'm going to try and wear it because it's a gift. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do it. So, it'll be a nice gift. So, what I'm going to do is I've turned it into an ornament. So, it's going to be like something that would just sit in a room and just look pretty. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I sort of can't. I can't do it. And then um, if it looks like I'm a bit ungrateful, it is what it is. I can't help you. This guy's, I got this top from, from Turkey. Um, so it's not real Louis Vuitton. So you guys may be thinking, yeah, well, you won't wear a fake Louis Vuitton bag, but you will wear a fake shirt. Yeah, I will. <laughs> I will, because I'm not paying £2,000 for something I'm going to throw in the washing machine. You know what I mean? Um, or even have the headache of having to take it to the head, the, the, what is it, the hairdressers. <laughs> dry cleaning i don't do dry cleaning we don't we play with dry cleaning here so that's why so i'll wear like stuff like this for sure and it makes looks nice on a video and you know away to people's houses and so on like that i won't wear it shopping <laughs> but but you know there's a different there's limits for each of us i won't necessarily want to wear a fake bag unless it's you know, it's got to be like on point. It's got to be like a super, super duper fake, uh, even to the point where it convinces, um, you know, the expert eye. But with tops like this, yeah, I think this looks cute, looks cute on video. And of course, I will. I, I don't mind wearing these kind of things. Uh, it's of no consequence to me. But I cannot see myself spending mad money on clothes. Can't, I can't do it. I'm too old for this. And plus, my girls don't allow it. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. Um, but, but today, I have some two items to unbox so let's take a look oh. so guys so i've got these two items to unbox and these are two items that i have wanted for a while i'm going to admit i have wanted these for a while but i sort of didn't buy them because i thought they were like so pretty stupid actually like really ridiculous to be be honest like one is completely unnecessary like it really isn't a necessary item to spend that money on it um but um there's a reason why i i chose to buy it now i could have bought a non-designer branded one but i just wanted that one you know I thought, well i had a little bit of a you know a bonus at work a little bit of extra shrapnel as we call it an extra extra shrapnel not much but a little bit of extra shrapnel and so i thought that i would would um you know just just try this thing out and there's a reason for it um so we'll talk about that then the other item is something that i want to use maybe for work it's more of a work use item um, and it will match with the other items that i have for work so i just thought I'm, I, I would get that you know but i think i'm going to need a liner for it anyway so let's start with the first box so this is the first box that i got from louis vuitton so it looks like this so um so this must be like the receipt or something or like a return labels it's usually the it's usually the return labels this thing is so i'm not gonna get too deep into it but i'll i'll open it real quick but i'm not trying to waste 
not really trying to waste time on, on this so let's quickly just get in there because some people like to see everything that they get when you order so i obviously ordered it online oh hang on okay so it is a receipt so it's a gift receipt and the return labels are indeed inside so there's the gift receipt so that's that lovely lovely so um i'm gonna try and just open this box so it's a true unboxing they were delivered the item was delivered a few days ago and i deliberately held off i deliberately held off opening them so that i could just quickly just do the video and i want to so there you go okay there you go you see that that's what we have inside i haven't seen oh and then i must have my other receipt in here okay what is in this oh no these these are return labels again so i'll put the receipt probably in this one so that's quite cute isn't it i never i haven't seen this one before i haven't seen a box like this before this is new to me you know it's a shame i'm gonna mash it up okay so this is the item let's put this box sort of here so this is the item this is the item i tried to put the ribbon nice but it sort of fell off like this like so i'll just slide it off oh it's a little drawer it's a draw item Louis Vuitton nice box there you go I wonder if you can I'm not gonna say can you guess what it is because it's probably gonna be in the title so you know I'll pretend to guess whatever so this is the item come in a nice little dust bag and so this is the thing that I'm gonna use for work and the, again I've been looking at getting something like this for a long time but the problem is you'll see why I hesitated there's a reason I hesitated are we ready are we ready are we ready are we ready boom this is the elizabeth pencil case the elizabeth pencil case why is it silver i thought this i thought this was going to be gold this is so annoying i thought this was going to be gold that's so frustrating you were <sighs> crying out loud anyway this is the elizabeth pencil case that i bought just make sure the zip's all right, you know, because they have a tendency to mess me around with the zips, you know. Then I've got to get in my car and drive all the way back there and change it. I'm wasting my fuel. Do you know how, how expensive fuel is right now? Anyway, so, oh, okay. All right, they would have made the inside black. That's nice. So maybe I don't need to worry about getting them. Um, comes with this inside. This is inside. Yeah, Vachetta leather exterior, Vachetta leather coated fabric, synthetic textile interior. Now, I'm really, I'm liking that. Honestly, is that, what is that? What is that inside here? Oh, it's got a number. I thought they were all chipped now. So it's got a number. It's got like the, the date code there. Um, made in Spain. And you can see that. Made in Spain there. So I really wanted the pencil case because I have everything else and it's just weird that I pull out a plastic bag full of pens. Do you know what I mean? It just looks so rubbish. Now, one of the things that, um, one of the reasons I have never bought, bought you know, what was it? Um, what was it? Bought the bullet, pull the, I don't know. One of the reasons I never purchased it is because the Vachetta. I'm not trying to feel Vachetta too much, you know, because it all gets messed up and you've got to do the most with it. You know, and this is the reason I can't even use my Alma BB yet because of, you know, the amount of Vachetta she's got on her. You know, she's driving me crazy. I really should have rethought that one. But I, I still don't like Damia Ben, so whatever. So here's my Elizabeth pencil case, and like I say, the only thing I'm a little disappointed about is the fact that this isn't this isn't um, gold. I thought that it, I could have saw it was a gold hardware, so I've got one with silver. But then the interior on the other one, I'm pretty sure it wasn't light, it wasn't this dark. So I, I feel now better that I would use put pens in this, and then use it, you know, as a really cute work item. Okay, so let me just show you a couple of other things that will, you know, to cut that will complement it. So the question is, do I, am I going to keep it? Do I pull this this thing off? Um, because if I'm going, if I pull it off, I'm going to have to keep it. Anyways, um, for now, for now, I'm, I'll keep it. You know, whatever. For now, I'll keep it. So look how I'm carrying my pens. Look, I put my pens in a plastic thing. This is how I'm carrying my pens. 
So I'm going to, I mean, clearly it's going to fit a load of, load of pens. And now I don't have to worry about ink stains now because it's got a dark interior. So let's put a couple of, let's get a couple of pens. A couple of pens I'm going to put inside. So um, I have, I have also this little Ted Baker one. Um, but, you know, it's a bit, it's a bit lame. So, so I'm going to, I have this really, really beautiful pen from Swarovski. Um, and so that for sure is, I'm going to, I'm going to take that pen. I'm going to take that pen that's going to go in. That's going to go in. I have a beautiful pen from Mercedes Benz. Yeah, really, really nice pen from Mercedes. So that um, I'll put in as well. I'm very, very, a couple of work pens pop them in i'm very into color when i'm writing i do like a lot of color so these i'll whack them into lots of room and the other type of pen that's very useful to put in is a stylus so a stylus for my tablets and so on this will be useful to carry around so that's all i would carry around for now um close it off it's got nice smooth zip and it feels really lovely and it looks looks really really nice i'm really pleased with that so i probably won't like send it back i'll, I'll keep it you know because you know i ordered it so um the other the other thing that i want to sort of share with you guys is that i'm going to now have like a bit of a nice matching set so i have the nice paul mm and now i have the nice pencil case the paul mm has the has the red interior um make sure i'm opening it the right way it's upside down i know it yeah so there's my paul mm it's got the red interior and now we have this that has the red in red on it too so it's gonna really really match so so well so this yeah so i've just popped it there so that i can you know i can free up my hands a little bit so obviously my paul mm which is i again my notepad that i use for work now i say i use it for work i haven't written in it yet <laughs> I haven't written it then. The bloody pads inside are now like they're like so expensive now. But I know you can get like generic um, pads to fit this if you look search. So so I'm still yet to 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 use this. Now we'll start using it. I'm just all waiting for the full set. And then the other thing that I have is my agenda. My agenda MM. I also have this, and I even invested in getting new um, Louis Vuitton inserts. I even invested in getting new um, Louis Vuitton inserts for it. But you know what's happened this year? I've not used it. I've relied more on my, you know, electronics. So I think these things are dying out. I don't think I'll buy any more of these. Either that or it's really that I just got out of habit of using this when we went into when we sort of went into lockdown i got out of habit so i need to put myself back in the habit of using this so i have the paul the agenda mm i have the paul mm and then obviously now i have the pencil case which is absolutely stunning so i'm really pleased with these items so let's move swiftly on and let's go and unbox the other item okay guys so here is the the next item now this is a complete not like this is the bit of a a very the unnecessary item that um i got my days um i'm struggling to open it usually my nails work very very well okay so i'll open this thing again like i say usually i don't waste time with with opening this so let me keep that. Somebody's messaging. <laughs> it's probably the fella. I'm not awake yet. I'm going to be late. Whatever. So yeah, so this is the gift receipt. Oh. And um, so let me now open the box so you guys can see. Now, the reason I bought this item is that, um, of course, we all wear ear earbuds and ear earphones and stuff like that. Earbuds. Ow. We all wear ear, hell, we all wear ear butts and earphones when we're out and about. And I, I wear, I wear the the wireless ones. I wear the the wireless ones, so they're still like wires. Um, and I really, and I do have some like earbuds, but they receipt. 
but I tell you what let me show you it before let me let me show you the item before i start talking so it's coming in this box look at the packaging the packaging has totally changed now you can tell it's been a hot minute since i ordered anything so it's coming in this small thing and so it's this small so god i'm very rusty at unboxings i'm just unboxing it to myself so it comes in this okay there better be something in it <laughs> it comes like this presents like this and then we have a dust bag and then let's open this up and see how oh my days you guys so what i have is is okay it was a little a little tangly this is the louise earphone chain look at that it's the chain for for your earbuds now i know that sounds <laughs> so stupid i told you it was like a really dumbass item like a waste of time item but the the thing with me is um so let me hold this up and maybe i'm going to put a little little picture put an insert there so you guys can see it the thing with me is i i don't have um, apple earbuds or anything like that so i have these earbuds now i won't wear them because i'm terrified that they'll just fall out of my ear you know so so that's why i don't wear wear them especially if i'm moving on the move and i'm you know i don't listen to music or anything as i'm on the move because i'm terrified if these things fall out on the floor that's it they're gone and i sort of wanted something that i could have that will keep them connected so in the event that they drop out they're still connected to the chain so and this is something that you know i'm quite i, I do love to use the buds um, and i also have these ones that i got from work these ones um and and i do love to use the earbuds they sit really nicely but again i don't walk around with them if i'm sat down i'll wear them but if i'm if i'm mo moving around i won't i won't wear them because i'm terrified that they'll fall out so at the top see they have these plastic sucker things um and I, they're a bit squidgy look you can squeeze them a bit squidgy so i'm hoping that they're gonna fit on the end but one of the other reasons that i wanted to get these because you know we all know that i like my louis vuitton jewelry i love my louis vuitton jewelry and um if i'm wearing if i'm not wearing my louis vuitton jewelry which i don't can't really wear all the time if I'm wearing these all the time, it'll almost look like I'm wearing earrings. Do you know what I mean? It'll give the look of illusion of earrings. So I just thought that, yeah, let me get these and let me try them. And of course, I sort of go around my neck like this and then they'll sit like that. And it'll look like I'm wearing LV earrings all the time without wearing my LV earrings all the time. Now, the only concern that I may have is if I use them a lot, how quick will they tarnish? Now, if they do tarnish, I'm pretty sure that I can take them back to Louis Vuitton and I can either, you know, they can either, you know, brighten them up a little bit or something because we do know that Louis Vuitton things do tarnish. So, so this is what I got, people. <laughs> so let's, let's, let's try them on. Let's, let's see what they look like. In fact, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that. Let me, so these are the ones that I use all the time. So these these ones, I use these ones all the time. I got these from work. So I'm gonna see if they fit, because these, they're not gonna fit. They're straight up. Look at the size of that. No, for crying out loud. It's not gonna fit. See, look, it doesn't fit. So these are the ones that are my favorite, and they're not gonna fit. So that was a bit of a waste of time. Okay then, so, these are the other ones that I have, and I think these are a little narrower. These are a little narrower, so they look a bit more like, okay, so these, this fits. It's very snug as well. It's pretty snug. So I don't know how far I can shove it down. So it means I'm going to, I think you can shove it down. It's pretty, it's pretty on there. You know, it's pretty, pretty much on there. My God, it's very, very tight. I love it. And it's got like a little, you won't be able to see, but I'll see if I can get a closer image. So then if I'm wearing them, if I'm wearing them. Oh, I'll pull it back. Look. Looks like that. Yeah, look, it looks going to look like that.
I mean, what do you guys think? I mean, I think that's like super, super duper cute. So now if I'm, if I'm walking around with my earphones, earbuds in, walking around with my earbuds in, people, people, how nice do these look? I mean, that just looks so sick. And then you can like really dress down and just have your Louis Vuitton and then you can wear your little, you know, studded earrings so you don't have to have your Louis Vuitton earrings sticking out. I really, really think that's so, so nice. But it is, it really is one of those nonsensical items that, you know, you, you purchase. I'll put the price up here. <sighs> my, my alarm. I'll put the price up so that you guys can see what do you think i'm gutted that they don't fit on these ones and these are the ones that i use all the time i use these ones but they're too big they're too big to fit so it means that if i'm sitting down i can use this one but if i'm on the go then i'll use these ones so i'm really chuffed with this people it's literally sucked on it's like secure so if it was to fall off it was gonna stay there it's i'm not gonna you know i'm not gonna lose it it's gonna stay there like that so so there you go guys those are the two items you know that i purchased and this is what it looks like with the on the earbuds how cute is that i'm really really chuffed with that i'm not gonna lie just a nice little treat something that's just really really cute that you can just you know nothing too serious nothing too big like i said i'm done with buying bags i'm not really gonna do the, the bag business anymore but if there's only little little cute little things that i think you know what you know buying those little nonsensical things that you that you know that you don't you wouldn't normally pick up and buy but i just i just like this so so i'm quite happy with this one i feel like i'm more happy with this one than i am so much with the pencil case but then i wanted a pencil case so i'm hoping that it doesn't go manky so these are the two these are the two items that i purchased a bit disappointed that this is not um a gold hardware i'm gonna recheck and see if i if i saw it wrong or right because I'm, I'm not really a fan of of silver but it's you know <laughs> it can be that deep can it it can be that deep so there you go party people so um like i say um this is where i usually store my wireless earbuds so like i have this and i and i have this so the wireless ones usually keep them in my um my round coin purse but but now i'm gonna be able to now i think that what i'm gonna have to do is like keep this chain maybe in in here um now so that if i do want to use these then i can use them okay then guys well thank you for watching my video um like i say um i'm gonna i'm gonna do another one um video with the fella because i want to get his i want to get his thoughts on it because I'm pretty much sure he's going to have plenty to say about it. So thank you for watching my video. And I'll see you again on the next one. Bye.